here and I thought I would do a video to show you some of the different foods I'm eating right now. Um, you guys know I'm not in competition prep and I wouldn't necessarily even say I'm a clean eater. I don't know. Everyone has a different definition of that. But right now I'm just trying to eat whatever I feel like, eat balance, eat variety, and you know, just not be so strict while making some good gains while I'm in the gym. So thought I would show you some of the stuff I'm eating right now, give you guys some ideas. Um, I know I always like seeing what other people eat and snack on just to give me some ideas for variety. So um, some of the things I'm doing right now, um, cottage cheese, let me tell you, I am a dairy whore. If there's a such thing as a dairy whore, that's me. For a long time, I omitted it from my diet you know, due to my trainer's advice, um, you know, with competition prep, most trainers don't allow dairy. I actually tolerate dairy very well. We get along very well. So I'm adding it back into my diet. Um, I'm sure there's some dairy haters out there, but I have no issues tolerating it. It's an excellent protein source, excellent calcium source. Um, so yeah, I'm eating lots of dairy right now. So cottage cheese being one of them. This is actually the 4% cottage cheese, so a little bit higher in fat, um, but that's okay. The low fat stuff's good too. I'm loving doing like a half a cup of cottage cheese with either some fresh fruit in it, or I actually really liked um, diced fruit. Um, I always buy these little dull fruit cups. I love diced pears or like the mandarin oranges. I like getting these, the no sugar added ones that are just in water, Splenda, or whatever. These are delicious. Love mixing these with my cottage cheese, um, either pre or post workout. Very satisfying. So that's one of my num nums. Um, I also love doing the 0%, I call it Fage. That's not how it's pronounced, but that's how I say it. Um, Greek yogurt. Love this stuff. Um, super high in protein, 23 grams of protein in one cup. Um, I love it, it's real thick. This is plain, so there's not much flavor to it. I actually now prefer just plain yogurt. You could add some Stevia, Splenda, whatever you like to it. I eat it plain, and I've been buying this um, kind granola. Um, I think it is gluten-free. I don't always adhere to gluten-free, but I just really like this granola because they've got a lot of different flavors. And the big thing with granola you'll find is, everyone thinks granola is super healthy. You'll find it's usually got a ton of sugar in it and super high in fat, which is why I like this granola. It's only three and a half grams of fat per serving and five grams of sugar. So that's not bad. Um, a lot of the granola you find out there is like 10 grams of fat and over. So you just have to be careful with that. I like this brand a lot, tastes really good. I've had a bunch of their different flavors. I would recommend it. So I like doing the granola with some yogurt, and I love slicing up a fresh banana in it or some fresh strawberries. And that makes, again, like a nice breakfast, or I like having it as like a little dessert and get that, that sweetness from the fruit. And it's good and it's filling. So it's another one of my snacks. I forgot how much I love grapefruit. Like, how do you forget that you like certain fruits? I don't know, it's kind of weird. I think that's what competition prep mode does to you. You forget you can eat, you know, different foods, so. Been buying some grapefruits. You can slice these babies in half. You could add a little sweetener to it. They are, you know, not as sweet as other fruits. I like adding just like a little bit of stevia or Splenda on top and eating this. Very refreshing. So there's your grapefruit. Um, I've been doing a little bit of nuts. These are really expensive to buy, you guys. Got them at Walmart, but I do like them because it's portion controlled. And even when I buy like a can of nuts, if I don't pre-bag it out, I overeat very easily on this stuff. So I do like it that it's in a nice little portion controlled package, but you do pay extra for it. So not necessarily cheap. Tuna fish, nothing new, but I do love tuna fish. Been buying it in the cans lately. It's much cheaper than buying it in the pouch. I like to mix it with a little Miracle Whip. I don't know if I have any Miracle Whip lovers out there. Um, you know, nothing real healthy about Miracle Whip, but you know, I use it a portion controlled amount. It adds a little bit of fat to my diet and nothing wrong with that. So been eating a lot of tuna fish. Um, for something quick on the go for people that need convenient stuff, I've been buying some of the Bird's Eye Steam Fresh. They have a lot of new varieties out there that incorporate vegetables with a little bit of pasta and a little bit of sauce on it. And I've been liking to use these to cut up my chicken breast and just 
heat these up, mix it in together, and it makes like one to two meals that you can bring with you. So again, quick, easy, convenient, and they taste really well. You do get a good amount of vegetables in there. This one's got whole grain rotini in there, um, and they're considerably low in fat too, even though they have different sauces and stuff on them. They still stay pretty low in fat. Good source of fiber, so I, you know, for times when I'm in a pinch, and I need to hurry up and quickly prep stuff for work. I really like using these. Um, what else do we got here? Love Chex Mix cereal. Again, it's gluten-free. I don't always do gluten-free, but I love this stuff. Um, this is what I've been doing when I'm craving something chocolatey, and I just have a big bowl of this with some almond milk. So love any of the Chex Mix cereals. This and the cinnamon ones are my absolute favorite. Again, I have to be careful to um, measure it out and actually know what I'm eating of it because I could seriously eat a whole box of that stuff. And just a couple of supplements I wanted to show you. Um, now makes uh, cookies and cream protein. I absolutely love this flavor. Um, so I usually mix, you know, a scoop of this with um, anyone have Wegmans out there? Love Wegmans unsweetened almond milk. So freaking good. But for whatever reason, they keep selling out in the stores. But anyways. Look for it if you have a Wegmans, super tasty, better than Blue Diamond. Um, but yeah, just standard protein shake, but I really like this flavor, so thought I'd share that with you guys. And I just got in About Time Makes casing now. Um, they make a chocolate and they make a, protein, uh, a peanut butter casing. And this one, um, this one has tryptophan in it and it also has melatonin. So a lot of people use casein at nighttime because it's that slower digesting protein, so I think it's kind of awesome that they put in some helpful stuff to help you sleep at night. So probably going to do a recipe vid on this pretty soon doing a casein fluff that my sister got me hooked on that's delicious. So that'll be a little treat treat I'll show you how to make at nighttime that I've been doing. I think that's about it guys. These are just some ideas. I don't eat the same stuff every day. I never will if I don't have to because I just like too many different foods and I like to keep it interesting and change it up. So here are some of my ideas. Hope this helps and please give it a like if you like it and keep checking back. Yo, 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 YouTube, what's good? <laughs> I think it's a new intro. No, it's not. I got an itch. Okay. No, I'm not going to be able to do the straight face. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Why do I always want to do jazz hands for my intro?